the most poisonous part of the whole red pill RP self-awareness men's improvement thing is this one thing right here what's up guys so i'm getting a little work done doing some walking because uh you know it's a good way to get some exercise in i want to talk to you guys about that poison part of the red, red pills men's self-improvement space that i find incredibly irritating there's this underlying current in all of it that basically says as you are right now is not good enough and by definition that is true you should want to be a better man you should want to be improving and at the end of all of what I have to say today just remember that at the bottom line as a man you should want to be doing better tomorrow than you are today and you want to be a better man today than you were yesterday not just not just economically but all things considered and the way you control your emotions, the way you raise your kids, how you can, can run your finances, all of that. There's this idea that as a regular man, you have to be a guy who drives in a luxury car. You have to make $10,000 a month. You need to be able to fly women out. This whole idea that you have to be this great $100,000 a year guy in order to be worthy of a woman. This super toxic. And there's so many coaches on the, the, on the internet and they're showing this lifestyle of being around women and, and being able to fly women in and, and have all these, all of these uh, grand gestures of how rich they are and how well off they are. And that's the reason they're getting women. First of all, I think a lot of that is fake. Number one. And number two, what is the value of having a woman if you can't get a woman with more than just money? If you can buy a woman with your lifestyle, then basically you're saying women are commodities. And if women are commodities, then you have to treat women like commodities. What do you do when you finish eating a, a Big Mac? What do you do with the rest of the wrapper? You throw it away, right? It's a commodity. What do you do when your television breaks? You throw, you throw it out, right? this commodity so this idea that as a normal guy you're not even worthy of having a woman as a quote-unquote commodity until you get your money into a certain place that's just toxic now I will say this about women if you find it hard for you to have women and you're a person that's a stand-up guy and you're doing you're, you're going to work and you're bettering yourself and you walk out presentable and you're having problem with women, I would just tell you that the problem is not you. And I'll say it again, the problem's not you. And I'll tell you the reason why you're not the problem. I live in a country where taxi drivers are getting married, bus drivers are getting married, school teachers are getting married, janitors are getting married. They're not living super rich lifestyles, they're just living regular normal people lifestyles. But somehow in our country, we've gotten into our heads that average men deserve nothing. They're to be looked down upon. So the man that's teaching your kids elementary, uh, teaching your kids math at school, you can look down on him because he only makes 50,000. But the banker up the street who's making 250,000, oh, that's a real man. That's toxic. We, I can't get behind that part of this, this red pill, this whole red pill men's self-improvement thing. You see so many guys that are striving to be this high quality man or this, this, this high value man that we've been hearing about for the last several years and you're chasing the ghost. Why? What happens if the bar moves from 100,000 to 150,000? What happens when it moves from 150,000 to 200,000? Because the bar is going to move. What the standard should be on is A, are you a dependable guy waking up taking care of his responsibilities two are you trying to be a better guy today than you were yesterday three do you value the family that you have or will you value that family will you take care of that family because all things considered if you are a grown-ass man and you have a family 
you're darn sure going to try and figure out how to make two dollars more tomorrow than you did today and so for any woman to stand up and say i can't have a man unless he makes a hundred thousand dollars a year without also saying this is how i'm going to help that man be a, a high earner this is how i'm going to be a valuable asset to that guy if you have women out here ordering men like they would order uh, something off of a, a menu at mcdonald's got to be six foot tall got to have a mercedes got to make a hundred thousand dollars a year man fuck that noise and i meant the, i meant the curse there too fuck that noise life is meant for you to live it together with someone and if you got someone that's treating you like you're a commodity, man or woman, then what the fuck are you doing with them for? You're not experiencing life. You're trying to get some validation out of something other than that, that present experience that you're having with that person right there. If you're with someone and they're treating you like crap, but they have a bunch of money, or you're with a woman who's only with you because you have money, hell are you doing with your life? Be a better person, make more money, yes. Do it for women? No. Do it for notoriety? No. Do it so that you're a better person tomorrow than you are today. And so all of these guys walking around saying that you don't deserve a woman because you're making 60,000, 50,000, you're making the average. Hell, the world is run on average people. If all the average people stop working tomorrow and only the millionaires went to work tomorrow, you think half of this you think half the world around you is going to work? Hell no. Schools closed. No buses running, electricity, lights turn off. And then you just have rich people driving around in Mercedes saying, why is everything closed? So this red pill part of this about how men have to be super, uh, super successful and all of this stuff just so that they can be deserving of a woman, that's bunk. We need to cut that, that crap out, guys. You need to be a hardworking guy with goals that wants to be a better person in the future. And if you can't find a woman that values that, then you rightly should go somewhere where you can find a woman who would. Because a man who's willing to work and make $50,000 this year, make $60,000 the next year, and make sixty five dollars the next year, a woman can work with that. She can build a family with that. But five women standing around a man making $150,000, what are they going to get? Crumbs. And that's all you're going to get for you and your kids. Sorry I sound so mad, but it, this is something that really fires me up. Well, I keep hearing this, this message over and over about how average guys aren't good enough. When you're looking around and you're seeing women that are overweight with tattoos and kids out of wedlock. And they're walking around making high demands of the men around them. And the men that they're making the demands of are just regular, hard, hardworking guys, I guess. And if you're that guy and you're being told that you're not good enough for, for what you're looking around for, hey... I look around here, I see those regular guys that get up and go to work. They're having families over here. So brothers, if you're getting your passport thinking about that, you ain't wrong. All right, that's all I got for you today. I'll at you next time.